Okay, so we talked a, a very, very, very briefly um, about what it means for two topologies to be comparable. Um, and we said that the finer topology is the one that contains the coarser topology. And so usually when we're talking about subsets, we, we usually write our subset this way. Um, but when you're talking about topologies, usually um, it's more common to talk about a set containing another set rather than a set being a subset of a set. So that's why, um, that's why it's written this way. So as long as you remember that the, the larger of the two sets um, is the finer one, um, that's kind of the, the key thing. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna look at two new topologies that we haven't looked at yet. Um, and we're gonna show why or why not um, one is finer than the other. Because one of your homework assignments lists a whole bunch of topologies. The two that we've looked at already are standard topology and the finite complement topology. Um, and then a, a handful more and you're asked to compare them. Um, the example that we're gonna look at actually, um, I'm gonna show you why two topologies might not be comparable um, because I think that's maybe a little bit of a trickier thing to do. Um, so anyway, the key to showing that two topologies are um, comparable is this lemma 13.3, okay? And it basically says that um, one topology is finer than the other um, if you can find a basis element of the small, of the finer topology um, inside a basis element of the coarser topology. Okay, so it's coming back to that um, basis definition of a topology. And sort of, and I hinted at this on Wednesday, um, but I've spelled it out a little bit more in depth right here. Um, so basically the idea is that to show that this topology T prime is finer than topology T, we're going to start with an open set in T, right? That's how we show that something is a subset of something else, right? We start with something that lives here, and then we show that it lives here, right? Well, to show that it lives in T prime, we actually have to find an open set in T prime um, that is a subset of our open set in T. Okay, so even though in this example we're about to look at, um, we're going to show that they're not comparable, I am going to set up for you what it would look like if we were trying to show that they were comparable so that you can use that um, as an example um, when you're trying to show other topologies. Okay, so this is problem uh, number six in this section that we're working in. Um, and we wanna show that these two topologies on RL and RK are not comparable. So we looked at the standard topology on R, and so that was our set of open intervals. And we looked at the finite complement topology just on a generic topological space. So these are two special topologies on the set of real numbers. Um, and they're kind of weird. Um, well, R, RL um, isn't that weird. So um, this topology is referred to as the lower limit topology. And it's pretty similar to the standard topology. Um, the only real difference is that instead of open intervals, you have these half open intervals that contain the lower limit. So they contain, um, you know, the left hand endpoint. Um, in problem, I think it's problem number seven that you have for homework, um, you're working with the upper limit topology, which is basically the same thing, except it contains B instead of A. 
Okay, so that one's not too weird. Um, the K topology is kind of weird. So the K topology contains all the sets from our standard topology. So it contains all those open intervals. And then it also contains sets that are open intervals minus any um, rational numbers of the form one over a positive integer. So it's an open interval that has holes um, anywhere you have a number of the form one, one half, one third, one fourth, one fifth, et cetera, okay? And that might seem like really weird because it is, um, but I'm gonna draw some pictures. We're gonna, you know, we're gonna pick this apart, okay? All right, so first, um, let's take a look at what would happen, because um, obviously, like, if the question is just compare the topologies or show that they're not comparable, well, usually you're gonna start by trying to show that two topologies like are comparable and then you run into an issue and you're like oh well maybe they're not let me see if i can come up with a finite counter um counter example so basically the idea um if we were trying to show that these are comparable we want to show that one is a subset of the other so if we wanted to show for instance that, um, let's do, I guess, this one first. So if we wanted to show that the K topology is finer than the lower limit topology, So if that's what we were trying to show, right? Well, we would start with an open set in the lower limit topology. So we would be given some um, half open interval. And you always have to have um, an element in that open set. So this is an open set in the lower limit topology and um, some real number x in that interval, right? So let me make that a little bit sharper. Okay, so then if I were trying to show um, that this also lives in the K topology, um, we would need to find either um, some open interval CD, say, so some um, open interval, or some open interval minus those K things, such that um, X is in, that open interval CD and that's completely contained in here or X is here and that's completely contained within AB. And this is like um, where you would do those little tricks of like um, computing distance and divide it by two and use that to define your new interval, that sort of thing. Um, if I wanted to show that this is a subset of this one, um, so that is, uh, oh, actually, I just wrote the exact same thing, didn't I? <laughs> Let's fix that. Um, so T L, um, so the lower limit topology. is finer than the K topology. Let me write this over there. Okay, so if that's what I wanted to do, um, 
what would I be given? No? You guys afraid of appearing in a YouTube video? <laughs> so I'm given something that lives in the K topology. So what do the things in the K topology look like? It's the A to B minus K thing, right? Or open sex. Or, okay, yeah. So we're given either um, this um, and X in there, or some A, B minus K and X in there. Right, so you really would have to look at, at both cases, right? And then we'd be trying to find um, something that's in the lower limit topology. So some CD um, such that X is in CD and that's in AB or in the other case, X is in CD. Um, oops. Yeah, yeah, X is in CD, and that's in um, AB minus K. Okay. Now, it may not be obvious to you at this point why this is going to be problematic, um, but that's why I'm working through it. Um, so, with this problem, it turns out that neither of these things is possible. And so we're gonna look um, at a counter example for both of them. Um, let's see, I don't know, which one do we wanna do first? Um, I guess I can just do them in the, in the same order here. So first it turns out um, that this one's not true, okay? So the K topology is not finer. Than the lower limit topology. Okay. And let's think about, um, you know, why, right? So what I want to look at, so my, my counter example here is I'm going to start with something in the lower limit topology. So I'm going to look at um, the half open interval zero to two. So this lives in the lower limit topology. And I'm going to pick an X in that interval. Um, any guesses about which X might be a problematic one here? What's like the special value in this half open interval? One. Is there? Hmm? Or is it one? nothing really special about one. I would say there's nothing special about any of the numbers between zero and two. They're all just random numbers between zero and two. Mm. All right, so you're getting, getting warmer there. This two is an endpoint. Um, but I would say in this case, um, zero is really the most problematic one because it's that one value that's an endpoint, but it's it's contained. Okay, because remember two isn't actually part of this set, right? Um, so I couldn't pick two to be in this interval, right? Because this half open interval is everything between zero and two containing zero, but not including two. 
All right, so zero is the, the value that I'm going to pick. Okay, and then I'm going to draw a little picture. Um, so. So here's my zero to two, right? Okay, so in order for this open set to live in the K topology, I have to be able to find um, either some open interval A to B containing zero that's contained entirely within zero to two or some open interval um, contain minus all those one over n's again that's containing zero and is contained entirely within zero to two. And the biggest issue there is that there, there's no open interval that contains zero that's contained within zero to two. So let me, let me write that out. So um, there does not exist. Are we okay with that symbol? So there does not exist either AB or AB minus K in the interval zero to two um, that contains zero. Right, because in order to describe zero as being in an open interval, well, zero can't be the endpoint, right, because the endpoints aren't contained in an open interval, which means I would have to contain some real number to the left of zero but no interval containing a number to the left of zero is going to be completely contained within the interval zero to two. So does that make sense? If you're nodding, I can't see you because I have the, the video hidden so that your faces don't show up in my YouTube video. <laughs> What's that? Would that not be the same for two? Like if you... Well, but remember two, two doesn't live here. So I couldn't have picked that to be my X value. Oh, okay. Right, so it has to be true for any X that lives in any interval of this form, right? So if I pick a specific interval of this form, zero to two, one to three, negative seven to two million, right? I'm always including the left-hand endpoint, but never the right-hand endpoint. So it would have to be true for every X, except for that right-hand endpoint. All right, let's take a look at the, the other direction and then we'll see if we have any more questions. So let's also show that this one, is not here, so that is the lower limit topology. Is not finer than the K topology. All right, so again, I'm going to start um, with some specific interval in the K topology, right? Because I have to have a specific counterexample to disprove. And I want to pick a number that's in that interval. So I'm going to choose um, just the interval negative one to one minus K. So this definitely um, is in the K topology, right? It's an open interval minus um, one, which wasn't there anyway, um, one half, one third, etc. And again, I'm going to pick zero. Um, zero is often what you pick for a counterexample. Um, just kind of happens that way. All 
So I'm going to pick that as my number. Okay. So let's again take a look at a picture and see why we wouldn't be able to find um, something in the lower limit topology that contains zero that's contained within an interval of this type. So make this one kind of big so I have lots of room. So there's negative one, there's one, and there's zero, right? So I'm looking at negative one to one minus k. One wasn't there, but I need to delete a half. I need to delete a third. I need to delete fourth. And these are going to be terribly spaced from here on, but I need to delete a fifth, the sixth, the seventh, an eighth, the ninth, the tenth you know, one one millionth, etc. right? So I need to be able to find a half open interval containing zero. So, you know, it could look like that, or it could look, um, it could look like that, that would be fine. Okay, as long as it contains zero and it's half open. Um, that's entirely contained within negative one to one and that contains zero. Well, do we see how this is problematic because of all those missing values, right? So here, um, I'm going to say there does not exist um, this, make sure I write it correctly, there does not exist this half open interval um, that lives here um, that contains zero. Right? And I can't just like do some weird cop out where I write um, zero to zero, that doesn't make sense. There's no interval that contains zero, but doesn't contain zero. Um, so we're not, we're not allowed to do anything like that. You would have to have, um, some other right-hand endpoint in this case, but no matter what right-hand endpoint you pick, you'll be able to find, um, some one over n that lives inside, um, that interval. So anyway, so that's kind of how um, how these are going to work. So either, you know, you'll be able to find a generic open set that lives in the finer topology that fits inside the open set from the coarser topology, um, kind of following this strategy, or you pick a specific open set in your coarser topology and show how there's no way um, you could find an open set in the finer topology that um, contains your given X and would fit inside the open set from the finer topology. 